Hey, welcome to this edition or this episode of Inside the Hornet's Nest. My name is Jeff Beavers, along with my co-host right over in the square beside me, Miss Donna Bowles. Hey, y'all. Uh, we're excited that we have two more soccer players with us today. Uh, we have Morgan Bright and Kaylee Littleford. Is that right, Kaylee? Right. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to start with you, Kaylee. Questions we want to ask you, girls. And I, I really, I'm so disappointed that I didn't get to see y'all play. So, first of all, I want to start out out the gate with that. Um, I was so looking forward to that. But I know there's some videos out there, and I'm looking forward to some stuff that y'all will send us. So please send me some things that I can look at. Okay. Um, so I want to know, first of all, um, this is new territory for everybody, for all of us. Where were you? What were you doing, Kaylee, when you found out, um, A, that the season was over, and then B, when you were graduating, <laughs> that your senior year was over? I think it was around the time when it was like getting crazy in Alabama, and I was actually <laughs> in my room, and it, I found out on Twitter. Well, we have a we have a group message on the seniors on the soccer team, and we were we kind of knew, and we were just waiting for that that one little post that said all Alabama high school athletics are to be canceled. And I don't think honestly, I don't think it's hit me yet that mm -hmm. I'm not playing high school anymore, and that it's it's over, <clears throat> and it's it's heartbreaking because we had a really good chance this year, and I was very excited. The freshmen were good, and. It's just, I, it, like I said, it still hasn't hit me yet, and it's, it's real, it's sad because I really enjoy knowing all the freshmen, all the newbies, and then just being with friends, traveling. It's just, it's sad, but I gotta, we gotta get ready for our next chapter in college. So I think, I think we'll keep ourselves busy and just try to, try to take it all in. And you do have a next chapter in college. So tell us about that. What are your plans after graduation? Yes, I'm going to South Alabama to play soccer. And um, I'm really excited. They're, they're, um, they're pushing a lot um, towards just like being, you gotta just during this time, cause they've never experienced anything like this where they're even talking about like, we'll do the, are we still gonna play? next year because um, soccer season starts, it's different from college and high school. College starts actually um, in August. So will we even get to play next year? Who knows how long this pandemic will last, but I'm excited, I'm so I'm headed to South Alabama. And I wanna ask one more question. Jeff, you asked this um, the other day of um, some other players. So Kaylee, if you, um, if we wanna give you an opportunity to um, give a message to one of your teachers or one of your coaches, somebody that's made an impact on you during your time at Chelsea High School, who would you like to send a message to? I would say Coach Hammett, my high school coach. He's, he's always been there. He's always there to help me soccer-wise or grade-wise. Just like if I, ask, I can come into his classroom just during halftime and say, hey, how do I do this? And he'll help me no matter what, even if he has to step aside from someone. He's just hes just so caring and he's always there for me and the whole team. So I would just, I would say that to Coach Hammond. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hey Morgan, we're glad to have you today. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, to start us off, so, I mean, how are you keeping your uh, your sanity during all this? Um, well, I've actually been working out like every day. I guess kind of like what Kaylee said, trying to keep my fitness up. But I just feel like during all this, having no school or anything, I have to have something productive in my day. So I've been going outside and like running or getting touches on the ball or like working out in our exercise room like at least once or twice every day just so I don't go absolutely insane. Well, that's, that's good. And uh, that's uh, very important, especially during this time. Now, one of the questions that uh, was asked of Kaylee, I'm gonna ask you as well, is what were you doing the moment you found out that, hey, this is it? I mean, 
the day is my last day to walk in the school building. Today is my last day to be playing soccer, uh, high school soccer at least. I was actually at prom when I found out school was canceled. So I was, I was, I was there and I got a notification on my phone and I looked down and it was like school's canceled next week and I was like, okay, this is the last, might be the last time I'm going to see a lot of these people. And then when I found out soccer was canceled, I was actually downstairs with my mom and my dog and we were watching the press conference and they canceled it and it didn't hit me at first. I was kind of like joking around about it at first. So I was like, oh, it's over, blah, blah, blah. And then I went up to my room and when I got by myself, it really just like hit me. Like I played my last high school soccer game last week. Yeah, yeah. That, and it's crazy to think about. Mm -hmm. um, so you're also going to college to play soccer. Tell us a little bit about that. Also, tell me the position that you play. I'm going to Mississippi College in the fall to play. And position, it's probably a complicated question for me. Um, in club soccer, I play in the midfield. But in high school, I've played about every position over the four, four years that I've played besides goalie. Tell me as far as uh, the, the coach or the teacher, if you could send out a message that has impacted your life while you've been at Chelsea. If, what, what message you'd like to give them? Mine would be Coach Hammett as well. And I actually did text him, like just saying thank you for everything you've done for me over the past four years. Cause not only has he, has he been there for us as like a coach and a teacher to help us with soccer things and math, cause he's our math teacher. Um, he's also taught us like a lot of life lessons, like not to give up when things get hard and always push through. For me, especially, cause I've dealt with a lot of injuries, a lot. Um, he's always kind of like been there, like you can do this, you can come back from this better than you were before. And I just, I would want to thank him for everything. Well, that's awesome. So last question, if you could go back uh, to the beginning, I won't even say the beginning of this school year. Let's just say that you could go back to the beginning of this year in January and you knew that your time was going to be cut short the way it has been. What would you change or would you change anything? I feel like I would kind of try to make the most out of um, what I have left more because I feel like I took a lot of things for granted thinking that I had until May when really it got cut short in March, my senior year. That's good. I, I think that's a very good life lesson in general because, you know, that tells us that we need to um, live for the moment as it's happening. Don't look ahead too much or, or, or maybe those things that uh, it's okay to take chances in other words, because we don't know how long we have. So, uh, so I think that's good. Um, Kaylee, I, I'm going to ask you the same question. Uh, if, if you could go back, uh, is there something that you would change? Or would you keep things the way that they were? Obviously, I, I wouldn't want to keep it the same, but at the same time, like this whole process really has taught us all a lesson. Like this grew so fast. I mean, look, we're all stuck in our houses. We can't, we have to wear masks to go to the grocery store. I mean, at the same time, it's horrible, but at the same time, it's kind of like, hey, you, life's short. You got to take every single moment, every single day. And it's just, it's, it's tough, but it's also a, a life lesson. So I think, it has its ups and it has its downs, but yeah. I'm very impressed with you two ladies. You you guys speak uh, very maturely for your ages. And uh, you, I can tell you got a good head on your shoulders. So continue to do the right things right. Uh, we wish you the best and we are very, we're very proud of you guys. Thank you. Thank you.